All right, so today we're going on a deep dive into the four seasons and what to expect here in Michigan. We do get some snow, so better watch out. Yes, there's a lot of good, so let's go, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Kevin Irwin. And I'm Ross Young. We are local real estate agents here in the West Michigan area. If this is your very first time to our channel, we go over everything and anything that has to do with living and thriving here in Michigan. So whether you're making a move here or maybe you already do live here, do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can call us, you can text us, you can send us an email, you can even send a pigeon care if you have to. <laughs> Whatever you guys have to do, we have your back when it comes to making a move here in Michigan. Um, and one more thing, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so you get notified whenever we put videos out. Without further ado, the four seasons are us. You know, let's jump into the season that we're in right now. Uh, we're gonna save the best for last. Right. And so let's start with fall. Let's kind of go right through the seasons. We'll what start is, with fall. What is the best? Uh, summer. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so fall in Michigan is the transition from summer to the dreaded winter. Now, a lot of people that watch this channel, they know Michigan gets snow. Yep. So what kind of fall would you really expect to have in Michigan? And, and it varies from time to time on year. You know, how long fall is really going to be? Right. No, 100%. And there, you know... <sighs> Michigan, obviously both of us have lived here forever. So I remember falls when I was a kid that like the beginning of October, we got hammered with like a 20 inch snowfall. <laughs> you know, it shut us down for two weeks. We didn't have electricity for two weeks, you know, but that hasn't happened in a while, but that's what we mean by fall. Every year is different. This year seems to be very wet. Like the entire year has been very wet. Like during the summertime, sometimes here in Michigan, if you don't have in-ground sprinkling, um, your lawn will burn up. It'll get super brown, super hard ground. Um, this year, we did not see that at all. It's been a lot of moisture all year round, which if we hit that in the winter, oh, that's why I bought some snowmills. So I'm hoping <laughs> that that sticks by. But um, fall time is beautiful. I mean, simply it, put, it it's is. gorgeous. It is. And you got to remember that Michigan's a pretty long state. Right. So if you're looking for like a color tour, you know, the UP is going to be a lot different than what is in the Grand Rapids area. Right. You know, the cold air comes from the north. That's kind of what triggers the trees to kind of change colors. Right. And so up in the UP, it could be full color as in reds, gre reds, greens, oranges, yellows, all that fun stuff. But down in Grand Rapids, it could still be green. Right. So we're going to throw up a map real quick so you guys can see that, you know, depending on what time of year it is, and they'll put these maps out every year, depending on how our weather is so that we can understand when is the color and like full, you know, gorgeous brightness. There's been times where I've been up in the northern part of the lower peninsula and, you know, it's pretty hilly up there and you'll get up to the top of one of the hills and it's just as far as the eye can see, it's so beautiful. Um, but this map will show you which areas of Michigan are in full bloom for the fall time, you know, so that you guys can go out. And, the, and there's plenty of color tours. There's some beautiful winding roads that you can take and just check out. It's it's awe-inspiring. Now, a little side note for people that are not from Michigan. When we say up north, we mean the <laughs> northern lower peninsula. Right. And when we say UP, that's technically north of that's like northern Michigan. That's but like Canada. That's different than <laughs> up north. Right. So if you're not from here, just a little side note for you. Up north is northern, northern lower peninsula, and the UP is the upper peninsula. I think we could do an entire video on all of the different Michigan sayings. We could. We right. really we'll probably could. need to. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> now, go back on like the length of time as far as fall goes, because really fall really kind of starts kind of middle to end of September. And it goes, I would probably say usually till middle of November. Yeah, I would say so. Yep. Right around there. But we also have, like Kevin talked about, these years where all of a sudden fall is like two weeks and then we get hammered with snow. Right. Uh, and then other years we have where fall lasts till January. Yeah, there, like. we've had times where we did not have a white Christmas. Um, you know, depending on where you're watching this from, obviously if you're California or Texas, you don't have white Christmases anyways. Right. But, you know... Us being a snow state, we like to have that white Christmas. So there's definitely been a lot of years I can remember where we didn't start really getting snow until January. Right. So it just really depends on the year. And if you get an early fall snowstorm, chances are within two days, it's gone. Yeah. And that's another thing to point out. 
During the fall, it, the temperature in Michigan is really crazy. One day, like today, it's 82 degrees. But yeah. end of the week, it could be 50. Well, there was, we, it was a couple days last week that it was in the low to mid 50s. Right. And we're all in sweatshirts. You yeah. know? So it's like, it, it's it's very hard. We can't really explain it. You just have to be here. <laughs> right. You know, so obviously, we've, you know, fall time. You know, let's talk a little bit about what you can do in the fall here. And then we'll transition into the winter time. Um, fall is a fun time, especially for families. If you want to get out, you want to see the, the leaves changing color. Um, a lot of the apple orchards and stuff around Michigan, because we do have a lot of different orchards here. Um, they're always doing fall activities, hay rides, uh, corn mazes. You can bring your kids out and get pumpkins, paint pumpkins, get delicious donuts. Oh, I love man. donuts. Um, apple <laughs> cider. Um, man, I don't want a donut. Dang it. Insider. <laughs> Insider. Yes. We, we need to go. But fall is a very good time make sure you get out and enjoy it because it'll flip switch and yeah. we go to winter so let's go to winter right now and winter in michigan can be brutal yes it can be we're gonna say that with a caveat because the past few years have not really been that bad right. you know we've we've gotten snow we've gotten cold temperatures and usually our cold temperatures you know we'll get below zero maybe for a week two weeks but usually it stays in the teens to 20s ish realistically and normally we get a good amount of snow yeah I would, and i would say normally you know and it's what's, what's really interesting is west michigan is very close you get to the lake the more snow you're going to get and it drops off extremely fast like when you're in holland they get an average of 79 inches of snow every year but you get to grand rapids that's 68 inches of snow but then you go an hour further east to lansing 28 inches of snow yes so that's how much the lake effect really influences our climate here in West Michigan. No, oh, 100%. So, you know, just to help you guys better understand, like, you know, the 79 inches in Holland is because that's what we consider a snow belt um, because the way that the bands set up for the lake effect snow, they seem to really like to hammer Holland. Where inland, when you go to Lansing, you're only at 28 inches of snow. That's because that 28 inch snow is really whatever storms we got right because they don't really the lake effect by the time it gets over there it's mostly like super light flurries it's not really much accumulation right and it's been very very many times where you you're going from grand rapids to lansing and you'll be driving through a blizzard in grand rapids and they get to say ionia or lansing and all of a sudden it's blue skies right blue skies just a dusting of snow on the ground yeah. um yeah, it, it's pretty crazy, the lake effect snow here. It, it, it's fun at times, especially if you're a snow lover and you absolutely love it. Make sure that you guys talk to us about which areas to choose in order to get a lot of that snow. Yep. Um, but, you know, let's go over a couple things for you guys to be aware of winter time here in Michigan. So if you're coming from a warm state, you guys don't really don't have snow, um, not really sure what to expect. Don't worry. I mean, there's plenty. I mean, everybody can't drive in the winter time, but there's plenty of ways. <laughs> you know, you can either buy a four wheel drive vehicle to get around in the winter time. A front wheel drive is still going to be just fine as long as you have a good set of all season tires or what a lot of people do when they move here or live here is we have a separate set of tires for the winter time. We have snow tires on, you know, some junk, not junk, but steel rims so that you're not worried about messing up your nice rims, you know, sliding into a curb or something like that. So, you know, just think about that. Now, as far as actually paving the roads here, you know, we've had snow forever. You know, as long as we've been alive, way, way before that, we get a lot <laughs> of snow. So Michigan is set up for it. I know a lot of the Southern states, they get hammered with a two inches of snow. That's hammered for them down there. Right. And they have one plow truck for the entire freaking county. <laughs> like that's, that's not going to work. Here we have tons of plow trucks, tons of plow drivers. So the highways usually are cleared. Um, if it's a really heavy snow event, you know, it's going to be hard to keep up with it anywhere you go, but they do do a really good job of keeping up with it. Right. So if you're going to be driving into Grand Rapids and you think that you're going to get a massive snowstorm and your boss is going to tell you not come in, you're in the wrong state because you're coming <laughs> in. <laughs> it takes a massive snow event here in Michigan for everything to shut down. Absolutely. So, and you know, we don't want to scare everybody that's moving here. That's never experienced snow neither. Yeah. We say it's, it's different. And it can be a little uh, white knuckle grip driving at times. We'll just put it that way. Right. But in all reality, if you take it just a little bit slower, you're going to be just fine. Yeah. 
And even with front wheel drive cars, rear wheel drive cars, not so much. Uh, it takes those are a, a little rough. It takes a special breed of person to really drive those in the winter. <laughs> but front wheel drive car, you're gonna make it around all right, as long as yeah. you're not going out in, the, out in the back country where the plows don't get out to very often. Right. And if you do, just make sure you're going about 70 or 80 miles an hour, so you right. can just glide over the snow. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, I even had clients that move here from like California and Florida, like, is there like a driving class that that's For all driving here? in the snow? Driving in the snow. <laughs> And what that's I always tell video, them, Ross. We could do right? that. And what I always tell them is, you know, what we always did as kids, and I'm not going to say we did or did not do this, but <laughs> go out to an empty parking lot and just start whipping donuts. Right. Then you get a feel for your car, yeah. get a feel for if it starts sliding, what you can do to stop that from happening, and have a little fun in the meantime. Exactly. Now <laughs> we've talked. We've talked mostly bad about winter but there's also a lot of beauty here in michigan yes. uh, the very few days that we get sunshine during the winter time is amazing you better make sure you got sunglasses because it's very bright um, but that is something that i want to bring up to you guys there winter time in michigan does have some absolutely gorgeous days where it's just beautiful we get a big heavy fluffy snow the sun's coming out and it's just like a winter wonderland literally that's what it feels like, a winter wonderland. Um, but there's very few sunshine days during the winter here because, especially in West Michigan, there might be more towards Lansing because right. they're not getting all of the cloud and overcast from the lake. You want to make sure that you're taking a vitamin D supplement because it is very dark and gloomy and you're not going to get a lot of sun on this side. Um, but like I said, the good is the days that are beautiful are amazing and some of the things that we like to do during the winter is go ice skating go skiing go snowboarding snowmobiling yep. there there's a luge out in muskegon and you can take a sled down to actual luge course right and there's so many things that you can do and they have indoor water parks that are scattered all over northern michigan as well where you can go and you know, bring the kids and yeah it's just a big warehouse with a bunch of water slides and everything and it's fantastic right so don't feel like oh my god winter time i'm not gonna be able to do anything there's so many different activities to do here in the west michigan area um if you like ice skating you can go downtown in the middle of grand rapids rosa park circle yep. you can go ice skating down there they have lights everywhere it's just michigan knows how to do winter right <laughs> and if you're crazy enough you can go sit on a block of ice and put a fishing pole in there yeah, there you go yeah. so plenty of options but <laughs> let's get out of the cold the bitter and let's talk about what happens as we transition out of winter into spring you know springtime in michigan is extremely wet wet and interesting muddy sloppy but it, it's all worth it because being from here we know what summer's like right and it's obviously the transition from winter into summer and usually the average temperature is right around 50 50 to 60 degrees i would say you know depending on the year it's going to depend on how long spring is right uh it could be two weeks or it could be two months now we, we're really thankful for the snow because we get a lot of people that move here from out of state from from the south and they don't get snow and one thing that they always point out was how clean it is around here and the snow really acts like a cleaning agent because the snow hits the, hits the roads hits the sidewalks freezes kind of pulls everything up off the concrete and then when spring comes it kind of washes everything away right and so west michigan is in my opinion probably one of the cleanest areas around the country right i would agree you know and it, you know yeah, diving further into the springtime here, the temperatures are all over the place during the springtime, especially early spring, along with that video that we're going to make later about all the Michigan stuff. But <laughs> when we get going into springtime, when it hits 45 degrees for the first time, most of us are just in a sweatshirt and we think that it's spring or it's almost summertime. Right. Um, but the, the thing about springtime is you'll get a bunch of those days and then it'll drop back down to into the 15 to 20s at times. Um, but all of that messiness and grossness is followed by beauty. Um, once it really starts to warm up, you know, the leaves start coming on the trees, um, all of the flowers start blooming, it gets absolutely gorgeous. You know, you'll get into the 60 degree weather, you know, before you hit into summer and it's just, it's a great place. It smells good, it looks good. Um, you know, it starts getting really green and yeah, you just start getting into summer. Absolutely. And that's another thing that a lot of people have said, you know, when they come here is I can't believe how green it is. Right. Because Michigan has those winters and wet springs that really get to water everything and get a good soak in everything. Everything grows so well. Right. Here in 
Southwest Michigan that everything just turns green really fast. Yes. And it is absolutely beautiful. So our summertime, our summer times do get hot. Um, and a lot of people have mentioned that it's a lot more humid in Michigan than what right. it is in other, in other areas. But with 11,000 lakes, can't really blame it. No, because it, you know, obviously we're transitioning into summer now. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, there is 11,000 lakes here in Michigan. So the moisture level in the air, the dew point, the humidity is quite a bit higher. Um, so you're going to, especially like late spring, starting into early fall, it'll be humid and then it'll drop. The humidity usually drops off for about a month ish, three weeks. You know, I guess it depends on the year. This year we had a long stretch of 90 degree weather and 100% humidity, and that was gross. Right. Um, but uh, it's not always like that. Summers here in Michigan are absolutely beautiful. Everything, for the most part, stays green. You know, like I said earlier in the video, sometimes you can get summers that dry out a lot so if you're somebody that loves having a green lawn all the time make sure that you either buy a house that has in-ground sprinkling or put it in um, and that will kind of take care of that issue um, but summertime is a blast here i mean we have 11,000 lakes that's a lot you know obviously there's a lot of other stuff to do there's hiking trails there's you know you just go on and on and on and on about all the stuff that there is to do here in the summertime Absolutely. So one other thing to think about for summertime here in Michigan, um, like I said, there is a lot of humidity here. Um, your temperatures can vary. There might be, you know, a month and a half to two months where it is high 80s, especially this year. That's what it was. It was um, multiple months in a row of high 80s, low 90 degree weather, um, a lot of humidity. But then there was also days scattered in there that were 85, very low humidity, a light breeze perfection yeah. um that just th those days feel amazing um so what is there to do here in the summertime in michigan obviously the lakes you can go to the beach you can head on over to muskegon um go grab a bite to eat at the deck you can go to grand haven walk the pier coast guard, um, festival. Coast guard festival yeah tons of festivals at a lot of these other areas uh small towns um you know it's just kind of endless the amount of things that you guys can do here during the summertime so i guess if you haven't felt this is why a lot of people move here this is why a lot of people that call us and talk to us and want to move here that's one of the number one things is because they want the four seasons the weather is amazing they're sick of the the super hot and you know no rain out in california you know texas has a lot of areas that it's just hot majority of the year um florida, just florida hot it's just time. hot all the time <laughs> you know that's why a lot of people are moving here so if that's you guys please again do not hesitate to reach out to us um actually before this video we just got off the zoom call with some people moving in here from california you know they're excited about it we're excited to help them we love helping you guys you know we do love making these videos but we definitely love helping you guys more absolutely um, so do not hesitate to reach out to us here's a number or our email if you want to get a hold of us and yeah we will make time for you guys so we appreciate you watching until next time see you guys see ya